What do we got? Cocktails. Ooh, we like cocktails. Yes, we do. And this is more from the fine folks at Dogfish Head. They're very good friends. They are very good friends. First, they sent us the mango. No, I'm sorry. The blood orange. Blood orange. Blood orange and mango, and mango vodka crush. Yes, vodka or was it the crush. other way around? Vodka crush, blood orange and mango. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty yeah. damn delicious. That was good. And that was released in conjunction with Nipiata for Valentine's, for Valentine's Day, Day, which was very cool. And, so and, and very nicely packaged. Yes, I like the way it was packaged. It very was nice. very nice. And now they've released that flavor and three more as part of a, of an eight pack. Yep. So you get two of each. Two of each. So we've got the vodka crush with grapefruit and pomegranate. We got the gin crush with lemon and lime. Yeah, lemon and lime. And the rum crush with pineapple and, and orange. And orange. Pineapple orange. So I figured we'd go in the order of the more intense, not a more intense, but the more flavorful spirit. So neutral for vodka. We start. We start neutral. Mm -hmm. We work our way to first gear. Uh huh. And then we go up to like fourth gear. We skip second and third. You don't want to do that. So we'll do... I'm not we'll sure do this whole gear business is. I, I, I have know. an automatic. Oh, well, same here. But it works I'm, like magic. I don't know what goes on. <laughs> no, it works like automatic. <laughs> so I'll start with this one. You read a little bit, yes. and then I'll just pour. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Behold, grapefruit and pomegranate vodka crush. A tart vodka is distilled over grapefruit and pomegranates. The ruby red grapefruit is balanced by the subtle sweetness from pomegranate for a refreshing cocktail bursting with juicy flavor. So ditch the fancy glassware, mixing equipment, and enjoy cold straight from the can. Hmm. Okay. That's a pretty color. It is pretty. What I like about these so far, we had this other line, which I will not mention. The videos are coming out. They were all colorless. Yeah. Which I guess is nice that they're not adding yeah, yeah, any yeah. color. But then I don't know what I'm drinking. Yeah. Especially when you have four flavors and they all look the same. Yeah. At least with this one. The last one was like a pale orange. This one has the cranberry. Looks like it's the, ruby uh, red. Looks like grapefruit and pomegranate. pomegranate. Yeah, so. All right, let's go. In. Cheers. Cheers. And Ooh. it smells. Very, very, but like grapefruit. both. <laughs> yeah, grapefruit is, I think it's grapefruit forward. Very grapefruit. Very grapefruit forward. I mean, that's all I'm really getting is the grapefruit. Right. Maybe you're just a hint of the cranberry. You're a fan of pomegranates? I like both, yeah. I like I pomegranates. Yeah, that's all good to me. Well, that's nice. I like that. It's crisp. It's like a little, little bit tart. Not a lot yeah. of tart. But very crisp. And I think, did I use uh, cane sugar on these things? I do not know. It has that kind of feel to it. Uh, inspired by the sun, blah, blah, blah. And it's hard vodka is distilled over grapefruit and pomegranates. The ruby red grapefruit is balanced by the subtle sweetness from pomegranate for a refreshing cocktail bursting with juicy flavors. So does it say what's in here? They don't really have the ingredients. By the way, did it have the ingredients? Nope, lots of warnings. No ingredients. Definitely. Lots of warnings. Lots of warnings. Oh, you know, lots of warnings. Not pregnant, right? Hope not. Okay. That would be tough to explain. It would be. But anyway, I liked it. So far, I like it. So this yeah, was good. I, I, uh, I find that it's mm. just enough mm. tartness to keep it interesting. Yeah, but it's not tart. And, and a nice no. finish. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Let's so, keep going. Let's do this. Let's jump into the gin. Yeah, let's do the gin crush with the lemon crush. and lime. Yeah, that was good. I like that a lot. Say hello to our lemon and lime gin crush. Is that what it says? Yes. With our bright and citrusy gin at its core, the citrusy sipper is then blended with real lemon and lime juice. Citrus forward and subtly herbaceous. Well, that's a fun word. Herbaceous. Herbaceous. Love it. It's a real palate pleaser. Lemonade yellow with a whisper of sea green and a slight haze. The nose is quietly herbaceous. I'm not going to read any more because there's some uh, notes Tasting in notes? All right, let's do it then. But again, ditch the glassware, the mixing equipment, and enjoy cold straight from the can. I like it. All right, cool. Cheers. Cheers. These are out today, by the way. Well, it's a citrus. I'll give them that. No denying the citrus. And I do get a little bit of the gin. Yeah. A little bit of gin. I know you're not a big fan of gin. But wait. That, that, that. Refrain. Taste first. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just uh, saying. I saw your face. This tells you there's gin in it. Thankfully, they didn't. I would have. <laughs> this is why we do these. I know. No one would listen if they saw the face. I have a voice. I have a voice and a face for radio. Well, that's pretty good. It's not super ginny. As as they said, it's as they said, herbaceous. You know, I almost get like like rosemary, and I get some like the lemon and a little bit of lime. It's got a nice citrusy bite to it. I'm I'm getting the lemon lime and maybe like a hint of. Mint, a little yeah. mint maybe. maybe mint or rosemary or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, maybe what else could it be? 
no thyme, something like that. Let's see, what do they say? Uh, mint and basil wrapped around a lemon rind. Mm. That's good. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is a little bit of basil. I like that. I like that. Yeah. That's good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. so, and again, it's it's got some tartness, some sweetness, but it's not overly one or the other. It's, no, not, no, no, it's no. not a jelly. That is very jam. Good. You know, it's nice. Would I be, would it be, um, what's the word? Would I be jumping the gun if I said these might be some of the better canned cocktails we've yeah, tried? Yeah, I, I think uh, you would be appropriately <laughs> jumping the gun. Would I? Okay. You'd be appro no, not saying but it's not wrong. Bad. I'm yeah. saying you're you're right where you need to be with it. Yeah, these are, they, uh, these are some of the better ones. With some better cocktails. These are some of the better ones. So well, this is the uh, rum is crush, rum crush, pineapple and orange. Pineapple and orange, yes. Behold, pineapple Behold. and orange rum crush. At its heart, rum is distilled over pineapple and oranges. Yeah. The slight sweetness of the pineapple is balanced by the subtle citrus from the oranges for a refreshing Ooh. cocktail bursting with juicy flavor. Wow, there's a lot of pineapple. Cheers. Cheers. That smells good. That's pineapple. I like I'm it. Not, I'm not really getting, uh, getting a, an orange yet. But uh, I don't know, maybe the citrus. No, no, yeah, yeah. The, the pineapple, pineapple's, got, pineapple's got a yeah. you know, probably pretty it's big got a punch. punch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna... That's nice, too. I'm not a huge fan of pineapple. We've talked about this before. Yeah. I think pineapple and mango can go either really well or really bad. But you like, there's, there's very little in between. You like fresh pineapple. And I, like, I like pineapple. Yeah. But I think for the flavoring, it mm -hmm. can either go really well or really bad, and there's no in between. Mm. Um, they've really done pineapple well here. Yeah, this, this is, is nice. This is really nice. Because it's I not like... This. this is an island drink. Yeah, it's got a nice... Again, the three of them. Mm -hmm. well, the four of them. Even the other one that we had. The, uh, they got a really nice balance. Yeah. They're, they're, I think, appropriately fizzy. Yeah. And they're, they're just... They're really nice. They're just really, really good. Now, if I had to rank these three, I'm trying to... I think... I think I would go one, two... Three. Oh, we've been doing this for too long. Why? Same. I'm jumping in the same way, man. Yeah. That's just that's just wrong. And again, not saying that this was bad or that was bad. It's it's again the tight grouping. Yeah, it's a close heat. It's a very tight. It's I, the photo I'm going to go anywhere from like a B plus to an A minus on this. Yeah, I, I think they're really well done. Because A, I would actually buy these. B, I would serve them to my guests. And C, more importantly, I would drink them myself. Yeah, I I think it's a very nice alternative to a beer. Better than a hard seltzer. And, and thank God it's not Way a hard seltzer. Way better than a hard seltzer. <laughs> and again, in a can, stays cold mm -hmm. and portable. So it's perfect for, mm -hmm. you know, the whole summer season. And what do we got? Pretty shiny packaging. Yeah, well. Very pretty artwork. I try to limit some of that down because I like that. Look at this. so pretty. Look They're the very fruit. pretty. Look at it's this. It's so beautiful, pretty. right? I got problems. So I like them. And you, same order? Same order. Same order, yeah. Now, the question is, I don't know where the vodka, and the orange and mango came in. That might have been neck and neck with this I, one. Uh, that I was really good. I think I probably would have had that a little bit behind this one. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. The orange, mango, and the pineapple probably together, and then this one. But again, as you said, they're, uh, you know, A minus, B pluses. They're, yeah. they're, they're really good. No, they're solid. They're really, they're really, really good. good. I don't know what the cost is. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to be, 20 bucks for 12 for anything? Yeah, pack? I'm going to guess this 20 20 25 bucks, something yeah. like that. So I, I don't know, but I, I think it's a really nice alternative to other things. So right, I think you're correct. I so think we thank you to our good friends, our yes. fine friends. Yes, yes, yes. Our thank best you, friends. Thank you to Dogfish Head. Thank you to the very kind Megan Bales who hooks us up with everything. And uh, sir, cheers, cheers, cheers. Run out and get them, folks. They're good. Cheers. <laughs>